On July 5, 1918, the U.S. Army Hospital in Colonia admitted its first patient, a young man requiring a bone graft for tuberculosis of the spine. Built in a mere five months to rehabilitate some of the thousands of soldiers and sailors grievously injured during the terrible battles of the First World War, Army General Hospital No. 3 started modestly enough with 500 beds. Designed by the world-renowned orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Fred H. Albee of Colonia, and constructed for $3.5 million on land donated by Charles Freeman, it was said at the time to be the most complete hospital in the country, not just most complete orthopedic military surgical service in the U.S. By the time the hospital closed in October 1919, it had swelled to 110 buildings, scattered over approximately 200 acres. The visionary Dr. Alby felt it was equally important to rehabilitate shattered minds and nerves, as well as reconstruct shattered bodies. And to that end, the hospital also had a school, art and vocational classes, basketball and wrestling teams, theater groups, fairs, and ice cream socials, as well as other activities designed to build the bodies and raise the morale of their patients. The hospital was, sadly, also the site of many deaths suffered in Woodbridge during the terrible influenza epidemic of the fall of 1918. During the 16 months the hospital was in operation, the staff treated over 6,000 patients, including 1,335 amputations. After number three closed, the Army quickly dismantled the hospital, and today, all that remains are the occasional ruins and artifacts found in Colonia residents' backyards.